Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to install mods on an ARC server. A few things before we get started, adding mods can potentially corrupt existing save files. Check the mod description on Steam to verify save compatibility. Some mods require a specific load order. If you want to learn how to change the mod load order, I will have a video in the description going over how to do so. Lastly, in order to follow this tutorial manually, you do have to use an FTP client, and I will have a link in the description for a video for that as well. First, we will go over how to install mods through our mods tab. We will then go over how to install mods manually. First, from the Steam library, we're gonna choose Arc Survival Evolved. Then we're gonna to go to the Workshop tab. Once here, we're gonna scroll down until we see the See All Mods button and select that. We can then find a mod we would like to subscribe to and can either click the plus button or can go into the mod and click the green subscribe button. Most mods, when you go into the description, will have a mod ID listed. We need to have that mod ID for later in the tutorial so we can go ahead and select and copy the mod ID. Once we have that selected, we can go to the Bisect Hosting Games panel and choose our ARC server. Next, choose the red stop button to stop the server. We're then gonna go to the mods tab and within the mods tab, we can paste the ID that we had from earlier in the Steam Workshop installer. Once that's pasted, we can choose the blue install button. This may take a few minutes, but once this is finished, we can go back to the console, start our server, and we will now have that mod installed onto the server. Now we will go over how to install mods manually. First, from the Steam library, choose Arc Survival Evolved. Then we're going to go to the Workshop tab. Once here, we're going to scroll down until we see the See All Mods button and select that. We will now see a list of mods. We can go into one of those mods and subscribe to it by choosing the green subscribe button. We now need the workshop ID number or the mod ID number, which will be in the description of the mod. Once we have that copied, we can go back to the Steam library and right click Arc Survival Evolved, then scroll to Manage and choose Browse Local Files. Once here, we are going to go back to the Steam Apps folder, then the Workshop folder, then the Content folder, and finally the folder numbered 346110. We can now minimize this folder that we have open, and we're going to use this later in the tutorial. Now we can log into our Bisect Hosting Games panel and choose our ARC server. Once here, we're going to choose the red Stop button to stop the server. Now we are going to log on to the ARC server using an FTP client. Again, I will have a link in the description for a video going over how to do so if you don't know how. We are then going to find the following directory. We're going to go to the Shooter Game folder, then the Content folder, then finally the Mods folder. We are then going to open back up the folder we minimized earlier, and we are going to drag and drop the Workshop ID folder from the earlier step. So the folder with the correct mod ID, we're going to select that and drag it over into the mods folder on the server. Once that's completely transferred over, we can go back to the Bisect Hosting Games panel and go to the Startup tab. Here we're going to go to the Game Mod IDs table and we're going to paste in the workshop ID that we've been using. If you have multiple, you need to separate them by a comma with no space. Once that's added, we can go back to the console, start our server, and we will now have that mod installed on our ARC server. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com slash KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.